I just think you're forgetting about human nature and basic instincts, which that Sharon Stone film was called. I mean, why did she have to sit in front of him and cross her legs and why and wear because a short Because she's the skirt? deputy why leader of the opposition, Josephine. That's why so she sits ridiculous. opposite him. She, what, what's she done wrong in your view? But, Apart from having well, legs and crossing them. She herself. It's like being sorry, a sorry. In what way has she flaunted her, in, 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 out. in what why way has she flaunted herself? That? In what way has she why flaunted she should, herself? She should be exercising a little bit more decorum. But sorry, I don't understand. She, she has two legs. Like. She's dared to like cross that. them in the House it's of Commons. It's a basic instinct for men to ogle women. And they've done it since the beginning of time. And you, with all your fancy words and theories and what have you are not going to change that. I almost am lost for words, Joseph. I yeah, don't understand you how you... Th- well, I you am. should be. I, well, yes, you, I'm quite, you so I should to, be. You go and watch Given what you've just said. Program, the male and females, they flaunt themselves in front but of can, each can I, other. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. In what way has Angela Rayner sitting where her job dictates that she has to sit on the front bench next to Keir Starmer at Prime Minister's Questions. What is she meant to do, in your view, Josephine? What is she meant to do? Equal in that sort of way, because they're not. But what is she meant to do? Wear sensible clothes and not... But no one's suggesting she hasn't. No one's suggesting this is about her clothes. This is about the fact that she's uncrossed her legs. No, she she was she she was. I've seen the picture. I've got the Daily Mail, and I just laughed and turned the page over. Okay, I've, I've got, got it in front of me. Right. She's wearing. What she's... is she trying to say? Uh, she's trying to distract him from saying something sensible because we all know that he likes the ladies, and he expresses it more than most people. And I just, I just think you're just, you're just so stupid for falling for the, for her rubbish. I can't. I really do. Do, do you know what, Josephine? I don't think it's stupid to think that Angela Rayner is the victim in this. I think it's stupid to suggest that she is somehow responsible for A, being a woman, B, working in politics, C, having two legs, and D, daring, daring to uncross them when she sits at her workplace. That's what's stupid, and I'm sorry, I'm not saying you are, but that point that Angela Rayner has somehow done something wrong here, that's stupid, it's ignorant, and it's sexist. I'm looking at the picture you talk about. A, it's completely irrelevant what she wears, in my view. That's not the point. But she's wearing tights. She's wearing a dress. She's wearing a jacket. What do you think she's done wrong? I absolutely do not understand how you can say that she's flaunting something by simply sitting there on the front bench. I think it's absolutely that attitude. It's based in sexism. It's the idea that women in politics are only there because of how they look or they get far more scrutiny of what they're wearing than any male politician would. If Boris Johnson sat there on the front bench with his legs wide apart, I guarantee you people like you, Josephine, would not think, would not blink an eyelid at it. And that is the point, isn't it? That's the double standard. That's the misogyny. Absolutely at the heart of our political system... And based on what you've just said, Josie, my friend, at the heart of too much else as well, because this is not just limited to Westminster. I genuinely don't understand how anyone could think Angela Rayner's done something wrong here.